Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to treat an aspect of mathematics, which is trigonometry, where we are told to show that cos 3a is equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. So show that this will give us this. Now, in this situation here, we have our right hand side which is what we are trying to prove and this was our left hand side right so in this case here now you focus on the left hand side and you will be having something like this we we'll call cos 3a we we'll call it a triple angle and we can break it down this can also be written as cos 2a plus what a because 2a plus a is going to give you 3a now this is a compound angle right so you are going to expand it so now I can put it this way recall recall when you have cos a plus b Right? When you have two different angles adding each other, it will give us cos A, cos B. The sign will change from plus to what? Minus. We have a sign A, sign B. Right? So, this is what we're having. So, it means that this now, therefore, we will now have this to be equal to what? Cos 2a cos a minus sin 2a sin a Right? So we've applied what we have here. Now if you look at this now, the aim is that whatever you are seeing here, everything will become cos. Oh, your expression must be cos. So we have sine, so you must make everything sine here to become cos. Now we can go this way and we can write it this way that recall. Recall sine 2a is equal to what? 2 sine a cos a. That is a trig identity. This is a double angle. Let me just show you what how I got that. If I have sine 2a, they call it double angle. If I have sine 2a, it's the same thing I'm writing sine a plus a. Right? So if I expand it, I'll be having sine a, right? Cos a. The sign will still remain plus cos a sine a. Now these are the same. So the master will not give me 2 sine a cos a. So this is when we have I have sine 2a. In compound angle, recall. In compound angle, when you have sine a plus b, right? It's going to give us to be sine a cos b plus cos a sine b so this is whenever you have a sine and you have a plus b like a compound angle and you have a sine it will be sine cos then cos sine but the position of the first the a will remain where it is the first value will still remain where it is and also the second value remain they don't change so only the cos and the sine will be what alternating if you're starting with sign here, after the plus, you start with cos and so on. So this is what we are really focusing on. That is how I got this guy here. Now, if I input it into this equation here, I'm going to be having... Now, I'm going to... This is cos 2a, right? So I can also put for that of what? Cos what? Cos 2a also. Right? I'll put for what? Cos 2 I need to break them down. So what will cost 2a give us? Now, if we still go back 
to our compound angle let's try for cos 2a cos 2a this is a double angle also will give us cos a plus a right so if i expand it when i say we have cos just like what we have here when you have cos it will be cos cos then sine sine right but the sign is going to change if it's plus you have minus if it's minus you have plus but in this case we have plus so it will give us cos a right cos a minus sine a sine a right and this will give us cos a cos a will give us cos square a right and sine a sine a will give us what sine square a right so from here, this is what we have. I'll just call here to be like equation 1, right? So our cos 2a can also be cos square a minus what? Sine square a. Is that okay now? Now from here, from this equation here, I can also say recall, right? Cos square a plus sine square a is equal to 1. This is a trig identity. So if I make my sine square a, instead of the formula, what will I have? I'm going to have sine square a is equals to 1 minus what? Cos square a, right? If I take my cos square to this side, become minus. So if I input it, substituting, substituting into equation 1. So anyway, I see sine square, I'm going to put 1 minus what? Cos square a. So if I'm putting it here, I'm going to have 1 minus cos square a. So anyway, I see sine square a, I'm going to put 1 minus what? Cos square a in equation 1. So from here, I'm going to be having cos square a minus, instead of me putting sine square a, I'm going to put 1 minus what? Cos square a. So I'll put brackets, I'll have 1 minus what? Cos square a right so if i open the brackets this is going to give me cos square a minus times one give you minus one minus times this will give you plus cos square a so cos square a plus cos square a will give you two cos square a so we're having two cos square a minus one this is what we have that will be our what our cos 2a is that okay so anyway i see cos 2a i'm going to put two cos square a minus one so this will give us 2 cos square a minus 1. So this is how we got this formula. So I'm going to put these two things into our equation here. So from here, we move forward. So we write again, this will now give us, therefore, so I'm writing cos 2a. I can also say, therefore, this cos 2a I have here, so I'm going to cos 2a. I'm going to put what? 2 cos square a minus 1. So I have 2 cos square a minus 1 and see having cos a close to it so I'll put the cos a here right minus this sign 2a I'm going to put so I'm going to put sign 2a I'll put 2 sign a cos a so I'm having 2 sign a right cos a then I'm still having sign a here then dot what sign a dot sign a or i'll just put it into a bracket so multiply by sign a now from here if i open the bracket cos a times 2 cos square will give you 2 cos cube a right minus cos a times will give you what cos a minus sine a sine a will give you 2 sine square a and we're left with what cos a is that the key so from here, we still have sine. Your aim is to remove anything involving sine from the equation. So there's a relationship. So I write, recall, recall my cos square a plus sine square a is equal to 1, right? So if I make sine square to the formula, I'll have sine square a is equal to 1 minus what? cos square a that's what we have there so instead of writing sine square a in this equation here i write 1 minus cos square a so we write this equation here this equation that we have here 
We write it again. So it will be um, 2 cos cube A minus cos A minus 2. When instead of me writing sine square A, I'm going to write 1 minus what? Cos square A. Into bracket 1 minus cos square A. Right? So in bracket, I'll close it up and I'm still having my cos A here. So if I write this, I'll have um, 2 cos cube A minus cos A minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, right? Times cos A. Or let me just write here. 2 times 1 is what? Minus 2. Then minus 2 times, or better still, I can do it this way. Minus 2, right? Cos A times 1 will give you cos A. Cos A times cos square will give you minus cos cube A. So this is what we have here. So if I expand this, I'll be having 2 cos cube A minus cos A minus 2 times cos will give you minus 2 cos A. Minus 2 times minus cos cube A will give you plus 2 cos cube A. Right? So from here, if I move further, I have 2 cos cube A, I have 2 cos cube A. So 2 cos cube A plus 2 cos cube A will give you 4 cos cube A. Minus 2 cos A minus 2 minus cos A minus 2 cos will give you minus what? 3 cos A. So it is what? It is proved. So it means that my cos 3A is equal to what? This. Right? So this is what we just proved there. This and that is what they told us to what? To prove. And this is what we have here. So we have proved this. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.